This is the student voice, an English project. I'm Bang Nguyen from 4A5, and today I will be a reporter from VOA Learning English. I will tell you how immigration reform can affect English learners. Immigration reform is a top policy goal this year in Washington. President Obama and a group of Democratic and Republican senators who have been preparing legislation agree on one thing. Millions of immigrants who are in the United States illegally will have to stop learning English before they can begin the process of becoming legal residents. But school systems that face shrinking budgets are still cutting English classes. Overcrowding is especially bad in California. That state is home to one of every four non-English speaking immigrants in the United States. But Marky McHugh of the Migration Policy Institute predicts a huge amount of unmet demand for English training all across the country. She says the current system is too limited. Until recently, California law provided money to be used just for adult education. But to help schools meet funding shortages, state legislators let them use that money for other programs. In Los Angeles, the adult education program has been cut by 75%. Once, the school district offered English at hundreds of neighborhood sites with day and evening classes. This year, the teaching hours will be reduced. California Governor Jerry Brown wants to take responsibility for adult education away from school districts. The main focus is on children. He wants to give the responsibility to community colleges. Adult schools across the country are experimenting with computerized English instruction. They hope software will help substitute for the individual attention that beginning students need for VOA Learning English. I'm Bang Nguyen. This is a student voice on an English project. I'm Bang Nguyen from 4A5. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye!